Okay, assalamu alaikum, my dear brothers and sisters. Uh, welcome back. This is your brother Abdi Muhammad Nur, who will be taking for you mathematics of form theory, basically uh, equation of a circle. So they are going to discuss today. Uh, here we are teach you how to get uh, the equation of a circle given center and radius, as well as how to get uh, uh, the 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 center and the radius given the equation for your information. Okay. Uh, we will start with our first example, uh, guys. Uh, uh Let's start. Okay. Let's start our first example, guys. Okay. This is example. Example one. Okay. You have. This is our example one. You are trying to find the equation of a circle center. Find the equation of a circle. Center zero zero and passing through and passing through the point which is three four. Okay, now let's see uh, this one. So, what we have, we have uh, uh, the point where uh, uh, where the circle passes, okay, which is. Uh, 3 4 okay x is 3 and y is 4 we have also the center as 0 0 so if you are to sketch this thing this is how you're going to sketch guys for your information okay let's say this is center O okay then let's say this is our tray this is the point where we have the circle passes which is 3 4 x 3 y 4 remember this is x and uh, y for your information then we can say this is a uh, three x and this is four for y. Then this is let's say ninety degree. Okay, let's call this point A. This is B. Uh, let's get the radius first because you are told find the equation. You must have the radius first. You are going to say, look here. Our radius is always what A O. A line starting from the circumference to the center. So we are going to say A O squared is equal to using the Pythagoras theorem or ratio. Uh, we are going to say. A B squared, which is the height squared plus a uh, B O squared. Okay, then you can say A O squared is equal to uh, four squared plus uh, three squared. Four squared plus three squared. Then A O squared is equal to sixteen plus nine. Then A O squared is equal to twenty five. Then introduce root. Introduce root. A O therefore is equal to five units. That is the, uh, the the radius, okay? But we don't have our center because we say the equation of a circle takes this format a minus x minus a squared plus y minus b, okay? Y minus uh, b squared, y minus b squared, okay? So what r squared? So we don't have this one now. So I think you know what you're going to do. Uh, we are going to say. Uh, we don't have a, so we're going to say x squared plus y squared is equal to uh, 5 squared. So x squared plus y squared is equal to 25. And that is the final answer uh, for your information, okay? Then we will proceed ahead and see our example uh, 2, guys, where we are going to get uh, the equation of a circle given center and uh, uh, radius, okay? Let's see our example 2, guys, okay? This will be our example uh, two. This is what our example two is. Find the equation of a circle in the center. Find the equation of a circle whose center is, open the bracket, we have a five, four, and radius three units okay full stop and radius uh three uh units fair information guys so uh we know that this is our center center is what solution to this problem we have our center as five comma four and this is what we normally call a and b then comma we have also our radius as what as three units okay so we know that uh, it will be x minus a squared. Do you know why we are saying minus a? If this one is 
for the center, are, are positive. Make sure you take the negative of that one. Plus, open the bracket, y minus uh, b, or b is 4, yeah? squared is equal to uh, 3 squared. You can expand and go ahead or leave your answer like this, okay? You can leave your answer like that, okay? This is how uh, we are going to get the equation. Or you can even expand. Let me expand for you so I can start better this thing, yeah? So this one is what? x squared minus 2ax plus a squared. Look at that. Plus a squared, okay? It will be what? Okay, but remember the position of a we're going to fill with that. Sorry, you're going to fill with the five here. Just understand. Sorry for that. So now let me expand for you this one. So this is squared is what x squared. It will be x squared minus this times this five x minus ten x plus twenty five. Okay, minus ten x plus twenty five. Then expand this one plus y squared minus uh, a to y plus 16 is equal to 9. So we can say like this, x squared plus y squared minus 10x. Look at this part here. Yeah? Minus, uh, this is minus 10x. I yeah? just understand that. This is minus 10x. Minus a to y plus this plus this one is so 41. 41 minus 9 is equal to 0. So it will be how much? So I'll take this to it to be x squared plus y squared minus 10x minus 8y plus 32 is equal to uh, 0. So this is the final answer for your information. Okay? You expand it like that. Just answer. So that's how you're going to get uh, the equation given, center, and the radius uh, for your information. Uh, after that, we are going to see how to get the center and the radius given equation. Okay? This is two ways of getting the equation of a circle, okay? One time we don't have the center and one time we have the center. Just understand that. So in our example three, guys, in our example three, we are going to discuss about how to get the center and radius given what? Given equation of a circle, okay? Given equation of a circle. Now let's see that, okay? Let's see that. I'll use two methods, method one and method two, to solve that one, okay? Guys, don't forget. Okay, this is example three. Uh, this is our example uh, three. Our example uh, three, guys. We are told the equation of a circle is given by the equation of a circle is given by the equation of a circle is given by. Okay given by x squared minus 6x plus y squared plus 4y minus 3 is equal to 0. So full stop. We are told uh, determine uh, the center and the radius of the circle. We are told determine the center and radius of the circle of the circle it is very easy uh, this is what you're going to do okay look at this point we have coming to the solution yeah look at this point we have write the equation x minus x squared minus 6x plus y squared plus 4y minus 3 is equal to 0 take your time rule of one we take this one to the other side yeah you're going to say x squared minus 6x plus y squared plus 4y is equal to positive 3. Here it's negative, on the other side it will be positive. So after that, we are going to add the square of uh, uh, coefficient of x and y squared on both sides of the, uh, no, to the, to the right side of the equation. What are we doing? We will add to this side half of this one squared, okay? Or this one divided by 2 squared, and also this one divided by 2 squared. So we are going to say, look at this one. We are going to say x, then between these two now, take x, it's common, yeah? Then this divided by 2 is what? 3. So you're going to say x minus 3. I say the, the common is what? x, okay? Then after that, take x, take one of this x, then minus this divided by 2 is what? 3. Just understand. Plus, again here, the common is y. y plus 2 squared also. 
then you square, don't forget, you square after you do that. Check y which is common, this divided by 2 is 2, yeah? in practice the square is equal to 3 plus, add the square of this one, minus 3, minus 3 squared, okay? Minus 3 squared, plus, again, this one squared, okay? The square of this one, plus 2 squared. So you're adding this divided by 2 squared to the right side, this divided by 2 squared to the right side of the equation. So you'll have x minus 3 squared, plus open the bracket y plus 2 squared is equal to 3 plus because negative 3 squared is 9 plus 2 squared is what? 4 then I will have x minus 3 uh, squared plus y plus 2 squared is equal to what? 16 12 plus 4 then you remember our target is to get the center and the radius so we introduce root yeah throughout root yeah, root also, yeah. So I will have x minus 3 in the bracket plus, okay, plus, yes, understand, x minus 3 plus y plus 2 is equal to 4. So our radius, therefore, our r radius will be, just understand that, the radius will be this one, which is 4 units, okay? Come to the center. One time you're going to take this one 0. So you're going to say, uh, you're going to say what? Without writing center, you're going to say x minus 3 is equal to 0. You equate this one to 0. So x will be 3. Or y plus 2 is equal to 0, which is this one. So y is equal to negative 2. So our center will be, center will be the point which is x3, y negative 2. Just understand that. Okay, that's how you're going to get the center and the radius given uh, equation. Uh, you can as well use another formula, another alternative method, okay? Remember this what we said, let me also solve this in another way, okay, or another method, so that you understand better this thing, yeah? Then you go for the one which is easier for you, just understand, yeah? Okay? Let's see that. Alternatively, uh, remember we said, yeah? alternatively, Alternatively means what? Means method two. We say that uh, this is the format of the equation of a cycle. X minus R squared plus Y minus B squared is equal to R. Okay? Is equal to what? Is equal to R, okay? Then uh, we can still uh, expand this one. Let's expand, yeah? We'll expand uh, the left-hand side quantity, yeah, these ones. So we're going to say, look at this part. We are going to say uh, from our expansion it will be expanding is from two cos you expand this one expanded it will be x squared minus 2ax plus a squared okay plus what plus a squared uh, if uh, uh, from there you also expand this one okay before we proceed to the other one expand this one for me plus y squared minus 2by plus b squared is equal to r squared, yeah, plus b squared. Then uh, this can be written as what? x squared minus 2x plus a squared plus y squared minus 2by plus b squared minus r squared is equal to 0. Then uh, that is uh, expanding that one, yeah? Then what about the given equation, okay? Let me take given equation. The equation given, it is this one. It is x squared, x squared minus 6x plus y squared plus 4y minus 3 is equal to 0. Now, you know what you're going to do? You will compare the, the, the coefficient of x and y in both equation, yeah? Remember this equation 1 and this equation 2. You will compare this one with this one. So you're going to say already x is common, so forget that. So you're going comparing the equation, comparing what? The coefficient. Say, comparing the coefficient of x, yeah, and y on both sides, on both, in both equations. Of x and y in both equations. In both what? Equations, okay? 
yani the two equations just understand so you will compare this one look here this is the first yeah let me go to this one yeah come to this point you will compare this one with what with this one just understand again this one with what with this one so you're going to say one time minus 2a is equal to minus 6 because x is common forget divide the negative 2 divide the negative 2 a is equal to what 3 which is positive also say also minus 2b minus 2b is equal to come to your second equation 4 which is now the coefficient of y here 4 divide here negative 2 divide here also negative 2 cancel just understand this thing yeah so b is equal to negative 2 okay then our center look here our center is the point is the point okay our center is the point okay this will be our center is the point where 3 negative 2 because you say that a and b are the centers of the uh, equation yes and sign yeah. the center of the center the center of the circle yes and sign that then uh, remember uh, we are left with what with r how to get uh, r okay we are left with r okay let me get r now make sure you go through this uh, calculation Understand then solve questions uh, from KCAC or actually uh, any other exam, okay? Any other exam. So remember, uh, we are going to say like this. Uh, when we want to get the radius, we are going to say like this for information, guys. Uh, we'll say a squared plus b squared minus r squared is equal to negative 3 uh, squared, okay? negative 3 uh, don't say square because uh, remember our where am I getting this negative 3 guys yes and some that this is the negative 3 we are talking about in the equation okay so we're going to say a squared plus b squared okay minus r squared is equal to what is equal to negative 3 equal to this one then remember we have our a as what as 3 so I'm going to say 3 squared plus B is what? Negative 2 squared. Okay? Negative 2 squared. Okay? So it will be what? Minus R squared is equal to 3. Now, this is 9 plus uh, 4. Because negative 2 squared is 4. Minus R squared is equal to 3. Add this one. 13 minus R squared is equal to 3. Okay? Negative 3. Sorry. Yeah. This negative 3. Take this one to the other side. Minus r squared is equal to negative 3 minus 13. So it will be minus r squared is equal to negative 16. Then negative 1 divided both sides by negative 1 cancel. So r squared is equal to 16. Then into root, into root. Then a radius there of r in bracket r is equal to uh, 4 units. You can also see that. Yes, answer. a squared plus b squared minus r squared is equal to. This one, which is the one uh, given in the equation for your information, okay? So that's how we are going to solve, guys, uh, getting the center and the radius given the equation of a circle. So in our next class, uh, we will discuss about KCAC equations and how we are going to solve equations of 10 marks from this uh, concept of mathematics. Otherwise, uh, make sure you subscribe and share this uh, very vital uh, information to your family members and friends who are actually stranded at home level due to the spread of COVID-19. Otherwise, I wish you the best.